What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean here. And Brian. And we are the Super Farley Brothers, back at it again with another video of the top games for the Nintendo Switch. This month, December, we have 10 top games to show you guys, and we are super pumped about it. Obviously, first one to start, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is an open world RPG game, one player, where you explore the world on the back of giant monsters which are called Titans. Each Titan has unique scenery, animals, ecosystem, NPCs, cities, the whole thing. So as you can tell, it's a very unique map on every single Titan. Along with each Titan, there's items, characters, and history to be discovered in this world called All Rest. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to be $60, coming out today, December 1st. Can't wait to get our hands on it, it's going to be great. Next up on the list is Nine Parchments. If you have not heard of this game yet, then you are in for a real treat. This game is both an online and a local co-op action RPG game. So anywhere between one to four players can play. You can play with your friends, you can play by yourself. You are basically wizards that run around the world together using the elements to your advantage. So choose your path wisely and return the Nine Parchments. This game is available for demo now and is out December 5th for 20 bucks. Next on our list is Ukulele. This was made by former Rareware employees, same people who made Donkey Kong 64, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, all those legendary old games that we all love. Ukulele looks to be a very playful looking game, bright colors, reminds us a lot of Spyro, and for those of you who've played it before, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. But unlike Tricks, it's not just for kids, it's for you adults too. Coming out December 12th for $40 on the eShop. Next on our list at number 4 is Brawlout. This is a total lookalike and playalike of Super Smash Bros. The game is 1-4 to four players, both online or local play, and there are 7 playable characters that you can use. Two are coming out soon. The game is currently already out on Steam, so you can look at some gameplay on that if you'd like. It's coming out quarter 4, and it hopefully is 20 bucks, like it is on Steam. Next on our list is Payday 2. This is an action-packed four-player co-op shooter where basically you're Joker's minions going in, robbing banks, and getting paid. Aside from the prestige of being rich, you can also use that money for special skills, changing how you look, and also buying new guns and gear for your bank robbery. As far as how many bills you're going to have to drop for this game, Nintendo hasn't told us. Nor have they told us the exact date for when the game's coming out, but we are certain it's coming out this month of December. At number 6 we have Arena of Valor. If you are familiar with League of Legends then you are already ready to play this game. This is a multiplayer online battle arena game which comes with many different game modes such as 5 on 5, 3v3, and 1v1. Whether you've played League of Legends before or you're totally new to the series, this is an awesome entry level game for you on the Switch to play. And remember this is coming out sometime in December, not quite sure yet but be looking for it soon. Next on the list is Battle Chasers Night War. This is a Japanese role-playing game. It's one player and has a very non-linear story development. You are in this place called Lost Vale, and you're traveling throughout the world discovering lore to upgrade your items and your character. A cool part about Battle Chasers is that it has 2D animated cutscenes between your discovering of Lost Vale. This game has amazing art style, and we're excited to have the physical release copy for $40 sometime this month. Por número 8, tenemos Morphe's Law. This Day of the Dead robot morphology style game is a shooter where you have two teams that are going against each other and you're actually shrinking and growing your own team and also the other players. This is a unique way to morph the playfulness of Nintendo with the classic shooter. We're really excited for the release of this game and we're excited to see how it actually plays. This game will be coming out just like the others at some point this month, we just don't know yet. Coming up next on our list is Save Me Mr. Taco, or is it Taco? Who's to say? This game is a blast of the past, trying to tribute the look and style of a classic Nintendo Game Boy game. This game will feature six different worlds for Mr. Taco to discover, as well as side quests, puzzles, mini games, and also 16 different dungeons for him to explore. You can also customize Mr. Taco with different hats that give him unique abilities to help him in his journey. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the nostalgia with Mr. Taco. And coming up in the rear, but definitely not last, is Blossom Tales. 
Some say this game is a mix between Princess Bride and The Legend of Zelda. You play the game as a girl named Lily, and you must go on a quest to save the Kingdom of Blossoms from Eternal Darkness. As you play the game, you're going to acquire new weapons, new spells, and many other things, much like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now this game is already out on Steam for 15 bucks, and we hope to see that same price on the Nintendo Switch coming sometime this December. So that's it from us guys, top 10 December games for the Nintendo Switch. Let us know in the comments below what games you're most excited to play this month. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as always, we'll see ya.